Sorry about this. We are going to have to interrupt. They are starting right now. Let's get you out there to the right into the action. Sorry about that. I thought they were going to be waiting for someone great made out there from Pounds on the downpour, pushing in through the north. He does find Cami back behind center, uh, behind Kiot. Downpour is definitely going to know that there is a defender there up in the northeast. Meanwhile, coming around the west main road, you are seeing Allegory cross. Does cross without any any fire taken at him. You see Proteus is holding tight on their objective. Real tight defense there. Great use of the flare as this is a night map. If you didn't realize we are on a night map. <laughs> Bizarre night to be exact. That player will mess with the night vision. Hansen still holding. Oh, it has actually crossed center street. We'll be closing that gap. Still a 5v3 here. Fortunately, they did have to start minus one. Time one. Center. Miko taking out downpour after he rotated back. And Hansen only down in ring over there. And a great nay to finish him off from Allegory. See, they are going with a south push here as they are down to only two. Amico is holding his angle. These sounds. Ooh. Hansen unfortunately has some background noise, and that will give your position away. And as Amico comes around to take him out, Allegory quick on that refrag. It is all up to him in a 1v3. Going off against Lord Beersteak, Pounds, and Pease Gaming. He's a fellow caster and referee here for the VREL. Which I would like to thank all of y'all for tuning in. Catching this great matchup, I'm sure it's going to be, be a battle. You see Allegory is going to rotate back and replenish from his fallen teammate, E. Hansen. Oh, but in doing so, does get spotted by Pease, almost dropping him. I think he's thinking of re-peeking this corner, something you usually don't want to do, especially when they have shots on you. Could have been coming from any direction, but Pease is going to rotate, assuming that Allegory was going to be continuing his push up center. Beardstake might have an angle over there from underneath scaffolding, but is not looking at the time that Allegory crosses, continuing his way to the west. Not, still not sure exactly where those shots came from P, so he is going to be checking most of the corners here. Has just under a minute. That's another thing that's different about the matches here in VREL. They are five minute long matches. Not the six minutes, so you definitely got to change up your strategy. I mean, that minute you think doesn't matter until you're out there in it and you realize it. It did. <laughs> mattered a lot but i mean it, it's just a little change up nothing that none of these teams can adapt to that none of these teams will have problems adapting to he is down to the 22nd mark pushing across the west but pounds not able to land the shots on him does get dropped by allegory continuing his push on up the west is going to get found by beard stake there under scaffolding giving proteus the first win of the night here on bizarre night hey two nights right there how y'all doing i am fog cabin again thank y'all for tuning in let's get their scores up there for y'all there is going to be a five minute delay so I may catch your, your messages a little too late. 
but I will be checking them. Do not you doubt that. First point on the board is Proteus. Now I'm thinking it's going to, unfortunately, Siren Snails is still down a teammate. And that could definitely hurt them. Sometimes it works in your favor. But I'm thinking they, what's up, Bob? How you doing? Thanks for hanging out, man. Yeah, I, I think if they hold their defense, it, they get, definitely could be trading Volk rounds here until that one either gets the win on Marsoc or even a calf comes out. If not, I, I'm predicting a, a trade in Volk rounds. <laughs> now, if you did not hear that, this is Bizarre Night. Uh, in VREL, it's generated three random maps each week. And all the teams play those three maps. And what do you know? We got Bizarre Night. Well, let's get back out there. <laughs> they are depending on allegory to carry them. Now you are seeing a looks to be a heavy north push, one pushing down to the east, which would be Amico. It is seeing if he spotted anyone cross there or anyone possibly crossing back to OBJ. Lord Beardstake is pushing down through Kiot Market, laying out some shots. As Pease finds Minus downpour northeast. pushing way up in the northeast. He may have been the, the one they send out there to cause the mayhem. You saw that as they pass the blue room. Pease lighting up with pre fire, but there was not a defender there. And Ring, unfortunately, messing up his flare. I bet the plan was to shoot the flare into that blue room, which is a common defender position. You're seeing Amico and Beard pushing right up through Center Street. It's going to find the first shots on the Hansen. That should get Cami aware that there is someone to the north of him. I don't know if that was his smoke or their smoke. If it was their smoke, great, great distraction. And you see a smoke there from Pease going out onto OBJ. You got three of Proteus surrounding OBJ. He's telling Amiko to cap it. A flash comes out onto Amiko, but he's... Oh, the nade! Gets both of them, but just a second too late. And they get the cap. Wow. Definitely, definitely clip that. Great play there by Proteus. Taking advantage of the fact that they are up a player. And I mean, you saw the push. Coming from Center Street right they, they came right up the middle of center street and they took care of both defenders both sides they they kept cami occupied with that smoke they took out hansen underneath the scaffolding and peas and ring making their push from the east through their smokes out along with oh i forget i want to say it was amico through a smoke as well and i mean you saw it unfortunately Unfortunately, that grenade was just just a tad too late. Had it been had it been a second sooner, it got both. It was on the left side of the tank, and not only did it drop Amico, it dropped Peas as well. But they were able to get that cap, and that if you don't know, caps are essentially two rounds. Like you essentially got ten kills there because you just got two rounds in the books they are now sitting sitting comfy at 3-0 and on a volk round they just have to defend i i don't know i, I thought there was going to be some trades here in volk rounds but proteus showing they are one of the top tier teams in onward and looking to hold that position here in the vrel let's get back out there Let me run at your pace. Do it. Just do it. Yes. Perfect. I 
<laughs> you hear that pre-fire coming out. He's not caring. Pushing on up. Oh! M249 downs Pease as he... Or he got shot with the M2 nade. I think that may have been what we saw there. Amico with a great position. Spotting Hansen all the way, all the way in the south. Minus one, correct. That is a commanding defensive position. He's locking down pretty much half the map. Just sitting there. Now, Downport did get across possibly before he was able to get into position. But, I mean, he's, he's going to keep Corey and Cammy stuck there, really, until they can clear him out. Downpour is currently making his way, possibly trying to get a different angle where he heard those shots from. Now, you do assume it's going to be upstairs, Kiat. I would never look where he's at. I mean, I would not think he's just standing there behind Fountain. And you see, he, he's completely stopped their offensive push. Just with that one kill. Because now they're thinking, okay, is someone flanking us? Are they still sitting up there in the north? Like, what's going on here? They can't continue their push and be worrying about that. They definitely have to clear them out. And if they don't do so, I'm sure another one's going to fall victim to Miko's bullets. So how are y'all doing tonight? Sri? Sri Lanka? What's up, dude? Yes, that nade. I don't know why the chat is not showing for me. Oh, he's running out there just shooting. And as predicted, Amico finds a second victim. I think Downpour is just going to go ahead and continue his push. Possibly letting them deal with Amico. And he gets a third. And one, one on me left. Great kill count out there as he has taken out three of them. Downpour realizing he's not going to spot him. But if he does not hurry up here, Amiko may possibly rotate back and find the fourth and technically acing. You see the OBJ is there. And when you come around this corner and you see that, that's when your heart starts pumping. You want to make sure to check every corner, but don't expose your back. I don't think Gold Bro's... Okay. You saw that? Gold Bro checked his tablet. It being a night map, it's hard to differentiate between Marsoc and Bolt. Oh, Downport finding Beardsay possibly was flashed. Downport also knowing that he's going to be having someone coming from the north and finds Amiko as well, bringing this down to a 1v2. Oh, trying to drop smoke. Gold Bro pushes around and takes out down four. Here on the fourth map. Fourth round, first map. There's your kill count. Amico up there with that cap and six kills as well. Corey definitely carrying. Well, not necessarily carrying, but doing the work on his team with five kills. Downpour right behind him with three. Wow. That it looks like they will be rehosting, and I should do the same with my game here because those who know know that there's that night vision glitch that happens. So, why we are doing that, you know, what? let's check out this, this ad here from one of our sponsors. Great sponsor, and y'all are gonna check out this gun stock. I'm, I'm stoked about it. I mean,
There we go. All right. Y'all saw that? That's one of the one of the prizes you get from one of our amazing sponsors. I mean, those anodized aluminum joints. Like you, you can't break it. All right. You know what? I need to get rid of this music. It does not let me do that. Never mind. So yes, get their fourth point. You know, you got you got to make it official. It's not official if you don't have the point on the board. Which is, there we go. So yeah, again, thanks. Thank you all for joining us. We have a bunch of casts coming up in the next couple of days. Bunch of Onward, bunch of con uh, contractors. I think a few Pavlov even. And yeah, we're going on to our second map. As you can see there, again, they are randomly generated, but they play through for everyone. So everyone this week is playing these three maps. Well, you don't play the third unless you do not win the first two. If a team wins both of them, they you don't have to play the third. And I think we are good. It's like maybe one is loading in still. But yeah. So the third is not always a for sure bet that you're going to play. But I mean, you, you want to practice it anyway. You know, when you're setting up your scrims. And that too, I like because you know which maps to practice. I mean, it's it's good. The random generated or the selection where, you know, you're banning them. They ban one back and forth until you finally come up with a choice, but then different maps, like the night map, they never play night. All right, let's get out there. They are ready. Switch these names around real quick for you. There you go. <laughs> Just hide. <laughs> come in here, I can see you. Let's get lasers on for you all. All right, they are getting the northeast spawn. Let's see Hansen going to a very good defensive spot there on Hilo Two Story in the dark room. You got Peace checking out the area over here. That is what they're all fighting for. That little uplink. I think it's looking like, yeah. Oh, that's not showing. But I thought three were gonna be going through the valley. Instead, it's only gonna be two. Amiko is breaking off there into center bungalow area, which that in itself is a great spot as well. It looks like Cami is gonna risk pushing this upper floor on Center Hotel. To me, that's always a risk. Because if they're watching at the time you push up. Oh, I think Hansen spotted. Spotted one of them. No. No, they didn't. Ring and Lord Beerstake have Can made their way. Talking? No. Okay. Yeah, she definitely did not notice them pushing across here. But I think Corey may have spotted. Or no, Cammy. Cammy. Definitely spotted Ring there. Couldn't land the shots. And in doing so, is going to give his position away to Miko, who I think fired a couple at him. Maybe that was Pease. Pease is looking. Cammy has a great position here, has his back and his side covered knowing that no one's going to be killing them unless they get past downport and hansen beard pushing up is going to leave ring back there to get dropped by cammy cammy confirming the kill on the ring making it a 4v4 beard pushing up into center hotel possibly going to be clearing it out of cammy if not 
Cammy is definitely waiting for Beard to make that push. And Beard's just trying to make footsteps down there, make him get moving around so he has a better idea of where he's positioned. Again, those footsteps. Oh, Cammy's going to push down and a trade between Cammy and Beard Stake. We'll make this 3v3. So you got two defenders there in Hilo Two Story. Corey is on the OBJ bungalow. This is pretty good because if one gets shot, usually the other can refrag pretty quick. But are they going to be ready for Corey over there? They aren't looking his way. I think he spotted him, possibly giving that information to his teammate. Is going to drop a Miko, making a 3v2. He's wide open to Corey. Is going to get found, making it a 1v3. All up to Goldbro, pushing over through the west. Gets a shot from behind Volk Tower. Misses shots from downpour. Is going to get up into the tower. Possibly get a better angle. But that will let downpour know that he's up there. Ah! Tower. If they have an accurate kill count, they know that the last player is Can in Volt Tower. Keep an eye that way. I have to keep us up. See if he has an angle here. If GoPro has an angle on him, it's not looking like. You need to get tower so I can rotate out. No pressure. <laughs> oh, and then as she says that, she gets a smoke, possibly helping her get out of there. Oh, but running out wide. Still trading with the flick on to Goldbro. Is going to get down, Downpour and his team. Oh, team win. Sorry about that. And Siren Snell's their first win of the night. I forgot to put the team names in. All right. I did that when I get back. Great. Great work there. Hansen. I mean, you saw you saw how she flicked. Like she had an idea that he was there. Oh, courtesy flush. Thanks, thank you for following. I I heard in the cast from Nutmeg. He was uh when he was casting you, he mentioned your name and it like tripped him up a little bit. <laughs> so yeah, let's get their first point on the board. Siren Snells showing. That you know, it's it ain't over. You know, that maybe a lot of people don't don't like night maps. You know, so maybe that's just what happened there. I mean, they are down a player. Unfortunately, that is that is so unfortunate to be down a player, especially we have ten person rosters. So there aren't any reservists, but we do allow you to have ten people on your roster. So it's I mean they. It's the first week of the season, so you're still filling out, you know, filling out your team, getting it all going, tryouts and everything like that. No worries. They were able to get out here and play. What? I'm, talk I'm sorry. I'm talking about talking. All right. Siren Snails did, in fact, get the same spawn that Proteus got. Downpour letting those shots ring out is gonna let Proteus know that they in fact spawn up here. You see all the lasers pointing this way. That is for y'all's benefit. They do not have those lasers in the game, and you cannot see the outline of them either in the game. Most of y'all know this. Who love and play this game? It's a love-hate relationship, but we're hoping to make it more of a love relationship here at the VREL. Oh, he definitely spots Gold Bro there. Now, usually you want to communicate that to your team. He takes out peas. Something else you want to communicate. See, if he would have let him know before he died that he did, in fact, get one down, but maybe he didn't. 
from that range, usually you're just you're just shooting windows, you're shooting dark corners, dark rooms, and hoping you got somebody. It looks like they lost two. So it is a 2v3 right now. Cammy holding up in Marsock Tower as Hansen is going to make her way through South Valley. Again, you, you just clear out windows. You clear out dark spaces because they are Volk, so they blend in super well. Nar, thank you for the follow. Surprised it took you this long. I'm just playing. Yeah, thank you, fellow teammate out there. Ring, I sh I'm almost positive. I heard Hansen running up here. He's going to hold his angle. You know, that's all you need to do on defense is hold that angle. Yeah, sure, you could probably poke out and get a kill. But you know your teammate has your back over there. Great job by Beard. That one's still looking parts off. And there's that communication that makes this game so much different Great. from all the other games. Yes, there's comms in it, but you're a five person team. No response. I mean it's it's heavy on communicating with your team. You know, re-strategizing on the fly if you're Marsoc. Even if you're defense, you know, you start losing players, you got to rotate back and cover that OBJ. If not, you will get capped on as we saw that first map. Now, Cami is coming around. Marsoc Twins down in the South Valley. A commanding angle being higher up than most of the map. And if he wasn't spotted going up there by Beard Stake, he may end up spotting him out. You see him checking those windows. I think he's rolling with a four time. Or a 12 time, sorry. So yeah, he's definitely seen. He should be seeing Beard Stake there. It looks like Beard's poking out. Unless he's not looking that direction. Yeah, I see Beard just barely poking. A minute and 20 seconds left. This is a long way for him to go in that short amount of time. Again, time playing a factor. It's it's just one of those things that you're going to have to adjust to. <laughs> but it sounds like playing with fire. <laughs> Just under a minute. He's not going to spot anyone in Hilo two-story as Goldbro is in that second story, but he's watching up toward the north. And as soon as he comes around, lower dumpster, Beardsake spots him. Ring Monster's here. He knows no one's going to get past him. Now you see him getting a little peaky. But more than likely... Great job. More than likely, Beardsteak called out that he saw him at Lower Dumpster. So that he was able to get... I'm going to get those changed. Sorry about that. So he was able to, you know... He could get peaky because he knew where the last guy was. So it's not as much of this. Especially, he had Beardsteak throwing those shots down on top of him. Kept Sammy ducked down that allowed ring to come around and just wait for him to pop up and he got got the kill so they got their volk round which will tie it up here on downfall yeah are you not hearing me too well when i turn away i think uh, but i i don't want like the it right here in front of me so yeah get their their point and we tied up And super unfortunate they're down one. But they're holding they're holding on. They're making it happen. You know. Let me get those team names in for you. And then we'll get out there. All right. No, 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 I'm dying. <laughs> That 
least they are still having fun. That's what it's all about. As some people would say otherwise that, you know, this is competitive play, which it is. There are prizes on the line. Great, great prizes. There's your reputation. You know, there's bragging rights. It's, it is very competitive out here, but you still, you know, you gotta have fun. Oh, okay, I was looking for Cammy. Cammy possibly will be getting himself a two-piece if Ring Monster can't get the refrag. I doubt Amico's gonna be ready for him. See Hanson watching on over to center bungalow. Cammy does in fact drop Amico and confirms the body. Now can Ring get that refrag? That flash, in fact, is going to land on Ring, but it might have flashed Cammy as well. You see Goldbro looking on over, trying to get the refrag as he knows Cammy just took out one of his teammates. In fact, two. Downpour looks like he's about to be running into a kill himself as he throws that flash out. Beardsteak is giving the call out that there is a defender in Center Hotel. Thank you, Pops. Thank you for that follow. Hansen spotting just a sliver of him. And in hearing that Hansen did in fact land a shot, that makes an audible sound as you just heard there, P's getting the refrag on downpour. But he heard that Hansen in fact did tag Beardsteak there and he pushed out and got that kill which is still working out for their team as they are up a man on this Proteus team GoPro still back in upper red I think he knows yep he knew Cammy was coming for him he takes out the flanker Now, with two and a half minutes left, he is going to have Long to catch time. up with Pease, knowing that they are the last two attackers. Wait for me. You hear him. <laughs> Wait for me. So all Pease has to do is hold tight, let go bro, catch on up, and they can plan their attack. Again, it's, it's all about adaptability. Very few times will you have a full five person squad making it through the round, not dying. You gotta be ready. Peace. Possibly getting a little antsy there. Does poke out, but Goldbro quickly catching up to him here at Center Hotel. Hansen taking those shots at Peace. Can't quite find the mark. Corby also laying some shots on the Center Hotel. I'm sure she gave that call out. Thank you for the follow. That flash is going to land a little high as Hansen catches Peas coming down from the third floor. Goldbro realizing he is last alive. It is a 1v2 though. He's going to opt to take the third floor here at Center Hotel. Has just at a minute left. Spots Hansen in the dark room of Lower Dumpster. Can't land the shots though. I um, think he heard Corey there in that corner as well. So he has an idea of where the two are if they have an accurate kill count. He's gonna see Pease does not have any smokes, any utilities that he can utilize here. Just at 30 seconds, he will be getting that notification that all the players get at the 30 second mark. Let you know you need to get moving. And as he pops up, Corey is gonna find the mark, take him out, getting Siren Snells their second win, trading Volk rounds here on Downfall. There for a second, when it got down to 2v3, if Pease didn't die, I think they would have had a, 
a good go at it. Especially GoPro, GoPro and Peas, both like they they're accurate with their their shots. But Hanson and Corey holding down their defensive lines were able to stop it. You see me di get distracted there for a second, J just a second. So, if you missed it. You see here, Proteus did, in fact, take the first map, which was Bizarre Night. They got a cap as well. So go back and watch that VOD. That, it's it's a nice one. And then right after, right after what happened after that cap, definitely go back, watch that VOD. And, I mean, I, I'm going to rewatch it. <laughs> but I hope y'all are all having a... A good night here. Watching some on onward, you know. To your HR. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> I just read y'all's chat. You crazy? But you got you got me all all flustered. Freaking gnar. Seriously, you got me all messed up. There we go. All right. Same OBJ. Shots already coming out. Is that from Amico? On defense. He must have spotted a couple of them there. You see him looking over toward upper red. Now, if he called this out or not, that will get the rest of his defense kind of carrying this way. Oh, but downpour instead is going to take him out with that M249. Bringing the big guns out here. Goldbro trying to get the refrag. You see that laser coming from lower dumpster over there. Look at those lasers on center bungalow. They may not realize that they got the kill. I think it was almost through some smoke as well. Cami is holding tight, probably watching for the flank. Not looking like there is one coming out. Brody is holding, holding this defense a little bit tighter. I think the one that they did send out, Amico, they saw that he got dropped, so they're just they're gonna hold tight. You know, it is. It is defense. You don't have to go anywhere. They have to come to you. Oh, Cammy's background noise. Is, is that a bird I'm hearing? I think so. I, I think that's a three minutes left. A bird squawking in that background. Calls out that there is only three minutes. Him and Hanson meeting up. Continuing their push. I think he's going to push on through Marsoc Twins as she takes South Valley. Downpour laying out some maybe distracted fire or just clearing out some of the windows. Again, you know, especially you got an M249. You got the bullets. Use them. It ain't going to hurt. Who knows? You might just catch a lucky kill. At two and a half minutes, Corey is going to make his way to center bungalow which he possibly yeah he could have pushed up here none of them would have spotted him oh well we forget about peas back here he should be hearing <laughs> nade goes out as he is possibly hearing hansen's footsteps down here in the valley that's gonna stop hansen and cammy at the two minute mark Continuing their push. Here to give the call out as he spots Corey in center bungalow. Also calls out there's another one lower red. He possibly saw downpour pushing toward the west. He's going to let his... North brothel, North brothel. Yep. He definitely spot downpour down there. All the way towards North brothel. 
smokes galore coming out from Cammy. He two utility smokes plus an M2 smoke. You see him getting, I mean, it, it gets the defense moving. He's giving great call outs as he's hearing Hansen down there. But it could be distracting. <laughs> That's what I love about this game. You can talk to the enemy. There's proximity chat. This makes for fun times. Cammy getting shot up not only by Ring, but Lord Beardstake as well. Downpour making his way. Currently on the... What is that? Yeah, the north side. Oh, now on the west side of Center Hotel. Throws at the same time. Wow, Pease gets Hansen as Beersake takes out Downpour. He did throw a flash out there. And I think on that throw is where they found him. Tying it up. Again, trading Volk rounds here. Duplex, what's up? Needs more supple. Always, always needs more supple. I mean, we know this. What's up, Gun Grip? Yes, it's me, Fog Cabin. Oh, let me get, get the score up there for y'all. Tied up here, Proteus, which is Supple's team. I'm sure he is here rooting them on. There is a delay. Five minute delay, so I'm I'm catching y'all's chat a little little later, but you know why? Cog cog fabbing. <laughs> oh yeah, see, and that's what I love when it's a quick quick ready up there, you know. Wait, where? Oh. Oh yeah, we have switched OBJs, we one, so. and then I but not very center. far. Right, hey, hey, let's let's do this. Wait, which objective? Fuck. Oh, it sounds like they are going for the cap. You heard ring there, getting their minds straight on the objective for taking up a great spot. Just as Amico downs North Hansen. Hilo, North Hilo. Or North Hotel. Where was she going? I think she, yeah, she was trying to make her way to Lower Dumpster. I was out North Hilo or North Hotel. Both of those call outs are gonna be a little off. Again, you know, you're just going off the direction you heard the gunshots. He didn't actually see anyone. Looks like Cammy possibly will be running in the ring. Spots ring, can't land the shots, will get the attention of Peas. That flash might have landed on ring, not looking like it. Gets double the shots on him, ducks away. Possibly rotating out of there. I would not repeat that. Downpour, I think. Spotting a Miko over there. Yeah, Cammy. Cammy got out of there. That's the smart play. Especially you're you're already down a teammate. You know this. And then you know you lost one. So now you're down two compared to their possible five. You don't know your teammate. What? And they they did it. I mean, Oh wow. That's how that's how slick that was. Wow. Well, I mean, that's that's going to be it. As y'all don't know, I mean, or I'm sure y'all are learning, but as y'all might not know, they don't play the second the third third map if you win the first two. And that quick it happened. Wow. Well, there you go. Proteus gets a cap on both maps. I missed the second one. I'm sorry about that. And they take it. 
This is week one here in the BREL. The maps are Bizarre Night, Downfall, and if you need to go to the third one, Subway. So say if if Siren Snails won that, then yeah, we would be going to Subway. But they got capped on, and again, that's that's two points. That's essentially ten kills. So you're taking you're taking two rounds. Well, great job to both teams out there. Thank y'all for tuning in. I mean, it was a little shorter than we probably would have liked, but I'm sure Proteus is happy about that. Uh, and shout out to all our sponsors. We got G Fuel, B Haptics, Mammut VR. Y'all know about them. Degenerate Decals, Boba VR. That that's a new one to it, and. Proxy Matt and Kiwi Design, as well as Nine Line Apparel, who will be providing jerseys. So, yeah, definitely give them all a shout out. Check them out. And, yeah, that's pretty much all we got for you now. <laughs> we have more casts coming up. I think there's a cast tomorrow. And then there's definitely going to be one on Saturday, if not two on Saturday, I think. And I'm going to try to pick up another one on Sunday as well. So, Everyone follow. You'll get the notifications when they pop up. And thank yeah, thank y'all for tuning in. Everyone in the, the chat, thank you. Gun Grip, Suplex, Bob, Nar, Sri Lankan. Yep, hell yeah. Thanks, everyone, and I hope y'all have a good night.